Ted, a tax referendum on this year's primary ballot could mean some big money for the West Lafayette Community School Corporation. Opposition is forming against that referendum. Aaron Leedy is here now with the story. Aaron? Nicole, an increase in property taxes to help West Lafayette School Corporation's budget deficit has some people opposed to the idea. Others say it's the only way the corporation can survive. The West Lafayette Community School Corporation is asking voters to approve a referendum that could raise property taxes as much as 43 cents per hundred dollars of assessed value. Superintendent Rocky Killian says the corporation is doing what it was advised to do. There is a solution given to us by the state legislature, and that is a referendum. Uh, that was what we were encouraged to do by uh, our legislators uh, that are oversee the funding formula. The referendum could raise up to three and a half million dollars. Friends of the West Lafayette Taxpayer Committee Chairman Brian Walker says a different approach can be taken to deal with the corporation's budget problems. Dr. Killian is saying, I want to look at the revenue side. Let's increase taxes so I can have more revenue to run my schools. My question is, is there a different way to deal with it? Is there a different way to look at the expense side? Walker says the tax would have a huge effect on the community. As the taxes go up, their expenses are going to go up. When they go to the supermarket, when they go to the drugstore, when they go out to eat, when they go purchase anything, the, the likelihood is the businesses will either try and pass it on to the consumer. Some opposed to this have said that uh, we should cut our arts, our music, our sports, our PE programs, but as long as I'm superintendent, we're going to look for every other option. I, at what point is enough is enough? Learn to do, learn to do more with less like everyone else has to do. The issue is now up to the voters to decide on this year's May 4th primary ballot. Aaron Leedy, News Channel 18.